Hey guys, I am your girl Kiki Soto and welcome back to Urban Girl Gardening. If you are new to my page, take a moment, like, subscribe, uh, share, comment, do all those good things. If you are not new, thank you for coming back. Thank you for returning. Thank you for hanging out with me. It is a beautiful day here in upstate New York. We're in zone 5B and we have had the most beautiful stretch of nice mild weather i mean yesterday we were even at 72 degrees i think the high was it's it's crazy because just a week ago it was snowing but we're going to take it and we're going to enjoy it and we're going to just you know keep going and gardening while we can we got to use up every bit of warmth and comfortable weather that we can to get the job done so in this video guys i am going to show you guys how to grow microgreens from seeds you already have now microgreens are just the sprouts of veggies that you already grow your peas your kales um your lettuces arugula even some flowers um sunflower sprouts are edible up to a certain point so you probably already have most of these seeds right at home you probably already grew some in your fall garden um, in your spring summer garden so we're just going to take that instead of buying those expensive expensive uh, microgreen seed mixes and use what we got right and the good thing about it is since it's warm out now we can let them get a head start outdoors and then we can bring them in and let them continue to grow right in our windowsill so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys down a bit so you can see exactly what we got going on here. So I just have a nice long container filled with potty mix. You can use whatever potty mix you desire, whatever you like, that's up to you. And it's mostly full because remember, we're using the sprouts. So we want to have our container, um, whatever you're using to be just about full, maybe a inch and a half left at the rim just for a little bit support on the side so they can grow up now the seeds that we're going to be using guys i have red mizuna mustard some baby bok choy i have some cimarron lettuce swiss chard scarlet kale hey you got me in the video you can come and say hi, hi. spinach and I have some of the pea seeds that I saved. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use radish greens, sunflower seeds that I saved, arugula, some more Swiss chard. This is the white, the giant white Swiss chard. Um, the dinosaur kale that I love, I'm obsessed with. I think everyone should have in their garden all year round. And some mustard greens, red mustard greens. Uh -huh. You're right, I gotta go eat some food. You gotta go eat some food, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do here, you need to remember since we're going sprouts, we're gonna be using quite a bit of seeds and there will be no thinning. We do not need to thin. So I'm just gonna, you guys see this. I'm just gonna make a small indention of lines here. Small indentation of lines. And basically guys, all we're gonna be doing is just sprinkling it, sprinkling in the seeds. Just sprinkling in the seeds. And we're not even going that deep either. Maybe about half an inch. Just making lines, just making lines. Okay, I got that done. I don't even know if I have enough lines for all the seeds I'm gonna be using, but we're gonna sprinkle them in and we shall see. So first I got my rocket arugula and I'm literally, guys, literally just gonna sprinkle these seeds. Get this packet open. I'm gonna sprinkle some seeds right into that line. Remember, it doesn't matter if they're close or not. We're just eating the sprouts. There we go. All right, so we got arugula. The dinosaur kale is next. And last but not open this, I opened it all wonky, so I gotta keep this one in a plastic bag. Let's see. Let's get these seeds going here. Just gonna sprinkle them right into the hole right into the line here it doesn't matter how close they are none of that matters the point is to get as many sprouts 
as you can in one area. Add some Swiss chard here. Swiss chard seeds are a little bigger. You see that? They're not tiny like, let's say the, these tiny kale seeds. I don't know if you can see them floating around in here. So I'm going into my third row and I'm just gonna drop these in every half an inch, you're gonna drop one in. And if they get closer than that, that's fine too. The beauty of microgreens is that it doesn't take much to grow them. All you need is some soil, some water, some sunlight in the window. And since we're only growing the sprouts, it's, it's really not that much maintenance either. Because once you get your sprouts, you're just gonna snip, 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 and you're gonna enjoy them. And then you can repeat the process. This is the red mustard greens, guys. You're gonna repeat the process as much as you want. It won't take long. It won't take long at all for these to sprout for you. So now I'm gonna go in with some of my radish seeds. This is the China Rose Radish. Sprinkle these right in here. We want lots of greens, guys. The goal, guys, my goal is always to make sure that we are eating fresh as much as possible throughout the year, whether it's winter time or not. You guys know we got this beautiful weather right now, but it'll be cold again. It will be cold again. Look at this beautiful Cimarron lettuce. This, guys, if you can find this Cimarron lettuce, go to Amazon. This lettuce is heat tolerant and it's beautiful. This is one of those lettuces that won't bolt quickly in the summertime. Don't want to sprinkle, sprinkle the lettuce right in there. Bunch of seeds. Let's see what else. Now I'm going to throw in some sunflower seeds. Now the sunflower seeds, you want to pop in a little deeper, just because they're larger. Bring you guys, make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. Popping these sunflower seeds right in. And I got all these sunflower seeds, guys, from one sunflower head. And this was not even the whole thing. Like, not at all. Okay. These are just some of the sugar snap peas that I saved. Didn't save much because we were eating them. <laughs> but pea sprouts are actually very expensive. Isn't that crazy? Pea sprouts are so expensive at like the Asian markets and um, farmers markets if you can find them. But it's literally, the crazy part is, it's literally just the beginning of your peas starting to grow. It's amazing to me the way some things are upcharged in this country. And we all already know eating healthy can be a little expensive, but it's less expensive than a funeral, okay? So let's keep taking care of ourselves. Now, this is my arch enemy, spinach. If you're in my Facebook group, Urban Girl Gardening, we did a post on what was one of the hardest vegetables for you to grow or what just didn't work out for you. And mine is spinach. But I'm gonna try it here as microgreens. I also, guys, bought some um, Egyptian spinach that is grown actually in warmer climates. I guess hence the name Egyptian. Grown in Australia, um, other warmer climate, temperate, countries 
and it grows well and I heard it was delicious so I'm excited to try those seeds here is the scarlet blue kale I'm just gonna sprinkle that right in there we go isn't that beautiful so beautiful I'm pretty sure I sent some of these to a couple of my seed winners and if you haven't gotten your seeds yet guys let me tell you something about the post office these days two-day delivery they told me is now up to five days so and I mailed everything out yesterday so guys please don't think that I forgot that you guys aren't going to get your seeds because you definitely are these are the giant Swiss chards you guys are going to get your seeds and actually i just started another competition it's only going to last for two hours on my um facebook page guess a number between one and three hundred and the person that guesses it or the closest number to it will win a hundred seeds from me because today is just a happy 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 beautiful saturday yes it is yes it is yes it is amen Now I'm going to throw in some baby bok choy, which I absolutely love. This is the most delicious um, green veggie. Baby bok choy is actually in the cabbage family. It's an Asian cabbage. Look at those beautiful seeds, guys. You see those? So pretty. So I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch of these right in here. So pretty. And it grows very very quickly. Let's see. I think we got two more. And look at that. We got two more rows. Look at God. Ooh. Uh -uh. Can't drop my purple mustard now. Purple mustard greens are another very delicious green. A little bit of um, a bite but not, not too strong. And I mean, just growing them to look at them is enough to at least get you growing a few of the plants. And they, the thing is with the purple mustard greens, guys, they grow up and they go out. Um, similar to kale, but like, uh, I, can't I can't describe it, let's see. They grow up and then the leaves come out oddly. They start out all bunched up, but as they get taller, they grow kind of like a plant with uneven level leaves and I did notice that they started to flower rather quickly though so that's something to keep your eye on all right so let's finish this up we got one more row and one more pack of seeds and that is my red streak mizuna mustard and these are beautiful as well a little bit of a bite but I mean there's so many different greens out there you gotta, you gotta try them all, guys. You gotta try them all. Okay, so all of our rows are filled up, filled in. The only thing we're gonna do is just cover with the dirt we already have. We're not adding any more soil to this. This is your potting mix. We made our rolls and we're just gonna cover it up slightly because remember, we want sprouts. We don't need super deep roots because we're just eating the sprouts of these seeds. We're gonna let them grow maybe six inches, six inches up. And all we're doing is just covering, covering the seeds at the top. And that's all. And if you need to push your seeds down just a little bit, you can. Just make sure you get that nice single layer of coverage over them. Okay. We are covered up. So you're going to take your watering can. And what you guys always see me use, I have my liquid seaweed fertilizer. This is a growth stimulator. has lots of... Um, nutrients in it to help your your uh, plants 
grow quickly to help grow strong roots so anything that you're you're growing even in the summertime in your spring gardens I recommend that you start with some kind of seaweed or fish fertilizer and blood mill blood mill is pure nitrogen and it will give your plants their best start so first I'm going to sprinkle some of my blood mill right over the top right over the top y'all hear them kids yelling in the background let me hurry up I gotta go regulate soon <laughs> okay and then I got my watering can and I used half a tea half a tablespoon of water and it's only half a gallon in here because I'm just watering this pot so and you mix it in. Usually you would use about a tablespoon or two to a gallon. It's up to you. I mean, you, you garden the way you want to garden, you know? So I'm just going to water this in. Water this in very well before I have to go regulate on my kids and they're fighting. There we go. All right, well, just shut that down and I am back. So we're just gonna continue to water this in. And it's okay if your seeds spread. It's okay, we want, them, we want them bunched up. You don't have to worry about thinning or anything like that with microgreens. So what I am gonna do here is I am going to let them sit outside since it's such a warm day. And I'm going to thank you guys for being here with me and learning how to grow your microgreens and we're going to check back in on these in just a few days and see how the progression is going thank you guys for being here at urban girl gardening i'm your girl kiki soto remember to like subscribe share comment um go to my facebook page urban girl gardening and enter that giveaway contest i just started again get on over there you got two hours to get things going and uh follow me on instagram urban girl gardening all right guys love peace learn with me Grow with me. Have a great day.